Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page today. I'm gonna to try for some kind of collage background. I've got all these bits and pieces from an old, well, illustrated encycl encyclopedia for a kids. Uh, just by looking at it, you can see it's something very old. Well, <laughs> old from the 70s and I'm want to try and use all these uh, flower images in my background but I need to think about how am I uh, incorporating all of this to something that will be cohesive so I figured I'll just start with tearing apart images gluing them to my page and I've got some kind of idea what I want to do on top of it but I don't know if it will work so I'm kind of uh, going blind into this it's going to be an experiment of course this is just uh, me gluing stuff and this is white glue two-thirds a uh, white glue one-third water just so it will be easier but uh, I don't really uh, stick with this recipe each time I buy a big bottle of uh, white glue the consistency is different so I just see how it works for me and decide how much uh, water I need inside so basically it's just a uh, playing with the images and i'm trying to take um, i will try and take uh, images like this one that has straight edge and use it here otherwise all the other images i don't care i just want to uh, use something this to use this straight ed edges to my advantage of course it doesn't have to be I can also take any kind of other image if it works for me and just trim the excess once it's sticking out of my page but right now I'm going to use this Here we go. And I'm also going on top with glue. It just makes everything uh, stick well and stay in place and <laughs> seal, seals everything. So that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm, I'm I've got a lot of flowers with this background, but I want to alternate with others uh, with different background and still have something interesting to show for. <laughs> I hope it will work and that it won't just look awful. As I said, it's kind of an experiment to try and make something from all these different uh, textures, uh, backgrounds and uh, colors. Here we go. This is going to stick out and I don't want here a straight line. So I'm putting it like this until I think it's in place and this will be trimmed later basically it's just up to you where you put everything and how there are no rules it's quite random it's what pleases your eye so I don't have a lot <laughs> to say about it straight edge here 
I don't want it. So here we go. I'm trying to alternate between the flowers with a different background. I don't want a complete block of the same color. That's the only thing that I, I do try right now to do. This one is also with a different background and I want to trim it a little bit here. I'm just doing it by hand as you can see. So I'm already seeing that I will have a lot of trimming here to do, but that's fine. As long as I'm satisfied with what's going on on the page, everything is okay. I'm trying to work quickly because it really it doesn't matter. It's quite random, it's only the background. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Here's another one. Yeah, let's stick it here. I'm trying to do first the edges of my page. Don't know why, it just works this way. And let's see what else. I've got here. Yeah. I'm not boring you with all this staring and gluing. It doesn't look nice at all right now. Let's hope it will be different once I'm finished. change here between all kinds of uh, let's see of backgrounds
details. I have quite a mess here with all this tearing of uh, little pieces, but we shall overcome. <laughs> uh, I'm really trying <laughs> to make it work, and I, I'm I'm gluing and thinking it looks a mess. And how am I going to save this or make something out of it? Let's see. Maybe I should have torn all the pieces in advance. Never mind. this uh, encyclopedia someone just threw it in the street and it was also wet there was it was raining and I just picked it up and it already had some of it had mold and some mud and whatever so I took it home waited for everything to get dry and then started ripping apart images out of it that I liked and thought I will use and then ev everything else just uh, went to recycling don't know why people are throwing stuff in the street especially books so just a little bit more I need something here and something here so let's see Just one more thing here and first layer is done. Here we go. So all this needs to dry completely before I do anything on top of it and so I'll wait for it to dry and then trim the edges and I'll be back I'm back so here is my page all trimmed all dry I will just put here a uh, masking tape so I will protect uh, the sp spiral here and now I want to put some paint on there are so many different ways to go about it i'm going to use gelatos because i haven't used them in a while and i want to use them you can use a uh, diluted acrylics you can use a uh, watercolors uh, you can use glazes uh, anything that will give you a translucent uh, effect on top of it because you don't want to cover it you just want to make everything uh, cohesive and together and but you still want to see the details otherwise there is no point in all these flowers in the back so I'm going to use my gelatos and I found out that I really like uh, using them with meat medium and to uh, my luck I found meat medium in my cheap store yay <laughs> because otherwise I wouldn't uh, have bought it so I've got here uh, the gelatos and I also have something similar uh, by a uh, I don't know campus it says and I have another 
uh, stuff this is no no brand just something from the cheap store but basically they are all uh, like like some kind of crayons I don't know what to call them and they react to uh, water or other uh, agents I like glue like uh, make medium so I'm going to uh, start with this and first I thought about going all a green a browns and greens and very antiquing but then I decided that no I want some a uh, blue and purple and that's what I'm going to uh, do I'm uh, putting down the gelatos uh, on top of my page and as if you are following my uh, videos you know I like the uh, darker colors in the edges so that's what I'm doing now didn't stick so well here I'll remedy this later just want to put some color and I'm thinking that maybe I should just start and see what it gets me because I don't want it too too dark and maybe this yeah it, it should be like lilac and it looks like pink and I don't like it let's see okay these are I'm not sure maybe they are neo colors I'm not sure I got them in happy mail and to my shame I don't remember who sent it to me and I'm just again just putting down color well let's start and we'll see what happens because right now it just looks a mess so I'm uh, just taking a paintbrush with the matte medium again it doesn't have to be matte medium you can use whatever you want you can use water you can use baby wipe to smear everything and I've tried it in my junk journal and it worked fine and I really liked how it looked but right now for some reason it doesn't react uh, the same maybe it depends on the quality of the paper maybe the glue that I've got underneath although it's dry I don't know but I don't like what's happening here it doesn't uh, look it doesn't blend as uh, it worked for me before and I don't like it so I'm just going to continue here and we'll see <laughs> what I'm going to do to save this right now that's not what I had in mind at all still trying to make it blend seamlessly I don't know okay so didn't work uh, how I imagined it would work and I'm just keeping with the mid medium I'm going all over the page because whatever I decide to try and save it I want the same base for everything so I'm just putting down more of the mid medium 
all over. Okay, so now I need for this to dry before I attempt anything to save it. It really looks awful. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've got here a acrylic thing. I'm going to try and do something to save this background. I just want to show you uh, how I've worked. I've done the same thing with the gelatos and the mint medium here in my junk journal and it worked fine and also here and again worked fine. Don't know what to tell you why it didn't work here. <laughs> so I'm trying uh, now to do some something <laughs> with this and I'm using a wet a baby wipe so I won't have a complete coverage just like a glaze at least I hope it will work and here we go. So I'm just picking a little bit each time on my baby wipe. And it's already starting to look a little bit better. Also dabbing, whatever works. I'm trying uh, to get in and blend. I don't want harsh lines. I'm going to just find a clean piece here and let's see. I'm trying to keep, as I said, the middle a uh, lighter. and the cobalt and the um, deep purple uh, to the edges. where I have still uh, marks from the gelatos I'm going over and trying uh, to banish them what didn't work before I'm trying to cover right now yeah Yeah, I like it. So managed to save it to save it. <laughs> yeah. And just going over where I think it needs a little bit more. But basically this is it. So I'm going to let this dry again. <laughs> 
<laughs> before I continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So now I want to uh, add some details to my background. I've got this uh, flowery uh, stencil from Stamperia and I'm just putting it here and because I've got a dark on uh, the back I want to go in with a lighter color and I I'm using the same colors I've used for the rest of the page I don't want to add more colors and what I'm doing is I'm going to start by doing a very a precise a stenciling and what I'm trying to do now is when I don't have enough paint on my uh, makeup sponge I want to go in and to create a fading effect and I'm pushing it in so I will still get something but it will be faded like so so here we've got a uh, more paint and here less and it just faded into the in towards the inside and I'm going to do the same here starting with a lot of paint and now I'm starting to go in with less on my sponge yeah that's what I was aiming for and let's see now I've got this, uh, this is a silicone trivet, which I always use uh, as a background stamp. I love it, how it adds to my background, just with my finger I'm putting some paint and Yeah. that's how it goes <laughs> and another one here of course you don't need to have something like this just use whatever you have So now I just want a little bit more marks in the background but now with the darker colors I've got this is from all kinds of plastic packaging I always keep it and let's see if I can yeah just adding interest to the background and let's do some of this almost can't see it never mind Okay, so 
I'm uh, going to all the, uh, let all this dry before I continue I want to do some stamping and then the focal point and this will be it for this page I'll be back I'm back so now a little bit of stamping and I'm going to start with this Harlequin stamp and this uh, Wilted Violet Distress Ink by Tim Holtz and I hope it will show I don't want it to scream out of the page but I do want it to add some interest and it doesn't really uh, no. so I'm switching to Momentor Tuxedo Black and I'm hoping yeah this is better Maybe just a little bit overdone, but never mind. I like it. I enjoy it. <laughs> so I've got. I'm uh, finished with the Halloween uh, stamp. I want some text in the background. So again, just randomly stamping. I really love to having text in the background and what and of course I wanted some butterfly so again like this and uh, yeah finished with the stamping now I want a circle here and I've already cut uh, from some kind of a uh, cardboard and let's see yeah I want it here and I forgot to bring the paint that I wanted to use just great okay so I've got here a metallic folk art metallic pearl white and again I don't want it to cover I just want something uh, in the background let's move this and putting it here and taking a sponge and let's see I think I need more white and not just the metallic it's not enough so putting down some white acrylic paint in hopes that it will have a little bit of shimmer if not never mind oops and I'm making a mess okay so uh, I don't uh, like it <laughs> uh, it's great here on the inside I don't like that the edges are not defined so I'm going to take a makeup sponge now and I'm going to go over the edges, maybe add a little bit of the light blue. Let it mix.
so it's good that I have just a little bit left from the colors that I've used in the background and here it is that's what I was aiming for now I need to give it a quick a blast from my heat tool before I'm moving to my focal image seems all right and okay so my camera just stopped recording and so you don't see me uh, stenciling this I just used this uh, stencil with black acrylic paint and here it is <laughs> nothing to it and I thought about continuing this uh, branch but decided that I like how it stands and I'm leaving it be uh, it doesn't have to be logical it just uh, needs to please my eye <laughs> at least so uh, this is it that's my page which I really like and it came to be with all the difficulties I hope you'll try something like that an experiment Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.